Hey guys, welcome back to our VCP 6.5 ICM hands-on training. This is the Lab 6 in our series. Uh, in this lab, we will go ahead and explore and see how do we really work with folders. When I say folders, uh, let me go ahead and quickly show you the objectives and then we'll talk in a little bit more in detail. So in this lab, we will see how do we create host and cluster folder. How do we really create a VM folder? How do we create a, a template folder? So what do I mean by here folder and wh why do we really need a folder? If you recall in the previous lab, we had added our ESXi host. When you start working with in a production environment, uh, you could be working with 20, 30, 100, or maybe thousands of ESXi hosts. And you definitely want a way to group them or identify quickly, okay, hey, these set of my ESXi hosts are being used in my lab. Some of these uh, set of ESXi are being utilized by my production environment. Some are being used by dev environment. So depending on certain properties or certain characteristics, we want to group those ESXi hosts. In that case, we can definitely make use of this host and cluster folder where based on common characteristics or common properties we can go ahead and put them inside a host and cluster folder with a similar approach we can go ahead and create a vm folder where we can just simply create a folder that would just uh, tell okay hey these are the vms which are my production vm these are the vms for my development and these are the vms for this department for another department so that way you can quickly identify and quickly see what are the vms belongs to a certain department certain group and same concept goes for your template uh, folder so let's uh, see that in action so let me go ahead and quickly quickly log into our VCSA uh, vSphere web client. I have logged into the VCSA uh, vSphere web client. On the web client, uh, there are a couple of options. Again, we are on the home screen. So first, we will go ahead and explore uh, the creation of your host and cluster folder. Before that, let's go ahead and click on host and cluster. Within the host and cluster, uh, right now, there is only one ESXi and we had created one uh, data center by name DC1. And within the DC1, we had just added only one ESXi host. But again, you can have multiple ESXi hosts. So now, let's go ahead and add this ESXi host 43 and say okay hey this ESXi host belongs to my production environment so to do that uh, we need to go ahead and create a folder uh, to create a host and cluster folder go to your cluster uh, your data center level and at the data center level if you scroll down under even the basic task there are a couple of options and uh, we don't see uh, the option of creating a folder here don't worry you just simply go ahead and right click and there is an option that says new folder within the new folder there are a couple of options. The first thing says new host and cluster folder, new storage folder, new uh, storage folder. Sorry, that was network folder. And there is a new VM and template folder. So right now we are working with the ESXi host. So for us, the folder that makes sense to create is host and cluster folder. So simply go ahead and create on host and cluster folder. So now it, you're being prompted to specify a name for the folder. Let's call this is our production servers. I'm calling this folder as our production server that would signify is okay. Hey, the ESXi host that belongs to this folder are my production server. So now just simply go ahead and hit OK. So you would see a folder being created here and the name of that folder is production server. And if you take a look at the folder, what is a folder? A folder is a container used to group objects and organize them into hierarchy. Folder provides a natural structure upon which to apply permissions. So we can also apply some common permission at the uh, folders level. So when you are working with let's your production or development environment and you want to have the same kind of properties or permission, you can go ahead and apply those at the folder level. So that would save you a lot of time instead of applying at the each individual host level. So if you take a look at right now the production server as well our ESXi hosts are on the same level and they both belongs to the DC one now the way we can we need to relocate this 43 the ESXi host instead of DC one to this particular uh, prod server folder where well, you can just simply right click on this one and there is an option that says move to or you can go ahead and simply select do and drag and drop so let's right click here I will show you the move to option. so we'll do move to here and in the move to you are being asked where do you want to move so let's go ahead and expand DC one within DC one we have this prod server folder so let's go ahead and select this folder and then simply go ahead and click ok and now in few seconds uh, our server will get relocated to under prod success so if you see the hierarchy has automatically changed now the 43 belongs to prod uh, servers so if i go ahead and collapse this one so now our esxi host is a member of the prod server folder and that's one of the way we can quickly identify okay hey these are the set of esxi host belongs to certain department or certain type of environment and again for some reason if you need to move this 
this XI host from this folder to another folder or maybe back to your DC one, you can do a drag and drop or simply right click and say move to. Move to, you can go ahead and again select here. I want to move this back under my DC one. Simply go ahead and click OK. And if you see the level, the structuring, the hierarchy has changed back again. At the same time, if you go ahead and right click on this prod sort of folder, there are a couple of options. So it says, OK, hey, within this folder, we can go ahead and create a new cluster. You can go ahead and add a new host or within this folder, if you want, you can go ahead and create a new folder also. Now let's go ahead and explore how do we really create based on the same uh, kind of idea? How do we really work with the virtual machine and the template folder to work with the virtual machine and template folder? You can go to the home and there is an option that says VM and templates or on the second tab here, we have in the same option VM and templates. So it's up to you wherever way you want to uh, use. So let's go ahead and click on VM and templates. Now in the VM and templates, you go again on your data center level and let's go ahead and right click here. And there is an option that says new folder within the new folder. Again, there are a couple of options. So now we are dealing or we are working with the VM and templates folder. So simply go ahead and click on new VM and templates folder. You are being prompted to enter a name for your folder. So let's go ahead and call uh, this as your dev VMs. We will call them our development VMs and let's go ahead and create a folder. So we went ahead and created a folder by name dev VMs. And now we have a couple of virtual machines. Now let's say you want to relocate this virtual machine uh, from the data center one to the dev VM. So again, you can right click or do a drag and drop. So I'll do move to in the move to let's go ahead and select the desired location where you want to move this virtual machine. So within the VM and folders, we can go ahead and select our dev VM as the folder. Once that's done, just simply go ahead and click OK. If you don't like the move to, you can always do a drag and drop. So let me just simply go ahead and click OK here. And if you see that our VM one was moved from DC one to dev VM folders, if you expand dev VM one, you can see the VM one being again. So right now we are working with the virtual machines later on when we will go ahead and work with the templates, we can say we go ahead and create a templates folder and we can start relocating or we can start grouping the templates also at one particular place. If you need to move this back virtual machine, now go ahead and right click again, move to and you can you can select the location where you want to move this virtual machine and simply go ahead and click OK and you can see this VM was moved from the dev VMs back to the DC one. If you right click on dev VM one, we have different properties. Like when we cl right clicked on the host and cluster, we had a couple of different properties like a new cluster add a host. But when you go ahead and do the same thing on a VM folder, we have a different properties where you can go ahead and create a new virtual app or you can go ahead and create a new virtual machine or you can go ahead and deploy on OVF template. So these are some of the differences uh, when you see the properties on a VM folder versus a host and cluster folder, but you hopefully you get the idea the, or the use. Why do you really want to create a folder? So the folder really is a way to group your different ESXi host or your VMs or a template. So that way you can quickly identify, okay, hey, this host belongs to this environment or this VM belongs to this particular group of people or this department. They'll be all for this lab. Hopefully uh, that was useful. I will see you guys in the next lab. Thank you.